There are two main files in Docker. The first one we've had a look at, that was the Docker Compose, and that's for creating sort of your application as a whole. But now we're gonna have a look at another type of file, and that is the Docker file, and that is used for creating the images which are used to build your containers. We now have a Docker Compose file that is a single service to that, and that being our Nginx web service. Now what I want to do is add another one for our application, and this is gonna be a PHP application, but like I said in the previous one, I'm not gonna name it after the technology which is powering this. I'm gonna name it after a descriptive name as for what it does, and this is going to represent our app, and all our application files will live inside of this container. So I'm simply gonna call this one app. And I could do what we did previously, where I went and got a pre-configured image and just use that. I am going to get a base PHP image, but I want to customize it. I want to add my own extensions to it. I want to do other things such as use Composer to install dependencies using it. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build my own image based on a base PHP image. And so in order to do that, instead of specifying the image that we're going to use, I'm going to actually build it locally. And so I'm gonna add a build key. And then in order to build it, I need to give Docker some information. And in order to build images, Docker needs to read something called a Docker file. And so you need to tell Docker where that Docker file can be located. And so I'm gonna say Docker file, and here I'm actually gonna create a new folder specifically for PHP uh, Docker specific stuff such as config and Docker files. So I'll say PHP and inside of there, I'm gonna create a file called Docker file. This is a convention. You do not have to call it this, but you'll see in like 99% of cases, it is called Docker file or Docker file dot dev dockerfile.prod for production or some kind of variation like that. Here, we're just gonna to stick to Dockerfile. So I'll hit enter on that. And then back to the docker-compose.yaml file, I just need to tell uh, docker-compose where to actually find that now. So we'll say php forward slash docker-file. When you go to build your own custom images, you have to start with a base image. So like we used an image for Nginx, we are gonna actually start with an image. And so you might be wondering, well, where do we actually find these? How do we know what the names of them are? So you can come to this that I'm looking at here and it's called Docker Hub. So hubdocker.com. And then you can search for the type of thing that you're looking for. So in our case, we are looking for PHP images. So I'll hit PHP. That will take you to the PHP page. And so you'll have this tab overview, which tells you a little bit about using PHP Docker images. Also tells you a little bit of stuff about configuration and how to write your Docker file, but I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. Uh, have a look through this if you want. You'll definitely come back and use this as a reference when you become more experienced and you want to know more about configuration and things. But for the time being, I'm just gonna show you where we can find the tags, basically where we can find our base images. So we have a tab here called tags. And what I'm gonna look for is an 8.1 tag. So if I type in 8.1, and I also want FPM because I'm using Nginx. And I'll explain that more to you when we go and do our Nginx configuration. And the one I'm actually going to use is this one here, 8.1-FPM-Alpine. And Alpine basically means that it's a minimalist image with a minimal amount of extra software installed in there because I'm gonna decide for myself which software I want installed, which extensions I want installed in this image. Back in my project, I'm gonna click into my Docker file. And so here you can run a bunch of commands. The first one I'm gonna run is one which says from, and that means from which image. And the image we are looking for is PHP. So if you remember, you use the name of the vendor first and then the actual image or the image tag. Once you have that base image, then you're in a position where you can run some commands, commands in order to install software, add extensions, uh, for things like if you want to run Composer and pull in dependencies, these are all things that we're gonna do. But for the time being, I just want to add a PHP extension so that I can use MySQL. And so the command you use in order to run commands is 
run. And as I'm using a PHP base image, it means I have access to this command here, docker php ext install, which as the name might suggest, is used for installing PHP extensions. And what I want is PDO MySQL. And for the time being, this will serve our purposes, though we are going to add to it later. So let me just explain something regarding the Docker Compose. When we last ran this Docker Compose up, what happened was it looked at the image and built the container from that. What's going to happen here is it's actually going to look at the fact that we want to build the image first, and it's going to build the image from the Docker file when we run that command Docker Compose up. But what I'm going to show you first is how we can actually build the image in isolation by using a command from the command line. And that command is this, docker build. The option T is to give it a name. So I'm saying Gary Clark with a tag of PHP 81. And then if the Docker file was actually in the folder from which I'm running the command, I wouldn't need to specify a file name like I'm doing here. However, our Docker file is in a PHP folder, so I need to tell Docker where to find it. So the option F means file, and then I'm just saying this is the path to the Docker file, and the dot means that we're building it from this folder location. And so any resources which I wanted in my Docker file, even though I've not actually specified any, Docker would actually go and look for those inside the actual folder where I'm calling this command from. Hope that makes sense. Let's go and run this. Okay, and the reason why I decided to run this is so that I could show you the steps being built. And because we only have two steps, it's very easy to see what's happening. So here we have step one of two, where we're going and getting the PHP 8.1 image from Docker. And then we are running this command in order to install the PDO MySQL extension. Then what Docker does is it has all the information that it needs there. It exports the image. Each one of the commands that you put in your Docker file will actually create a layer. And so the image is made up of layers. It then writes the image. As you can see, each image has its own unique hash. And then the final step, it names the image. So as you can see, we have the repository name. So I named it Gary Clark. And then the tag PHP 81. If I go and run Docker images, we can now see that here listed amongst our images. Repository Gary Clark and the tag PHP 81. So that's the image which we have just created. And just to be clear on something, we didn't actually have to build that image separately. That will happen when we go and run Docker Compose. However, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you the steps and how the images are built because sometimes you'll run into problems during the build. And if you know where to look and how to pinpoint at what stage things went wrong, that'll really help you out. 